moon planets. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. We're here to help you find your way around the sky. Elementary school teachers try all sorts of ways to get their students to remember the order of the planets. My favorite has to be the saying, my very educated mother just served us nachos. Yum, I can go for some nachos right now. Me too, but James, we need to focus. Huh. The first letter of each word stands for the first letter of each planet. So, my is for Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. Very is for Venus, and all the way to the farthest planet from the sun, nachos. I mean, Neptune. Of course, there are two M's in there, Mercury and Mars, and it just so happens that the two M planets are coming together in the evening sky. And that means it's conjunction time. Let's head to the sky and check it all out. Okay, we have our sky set up for Saturday night, June 15th, just after sunset facing toward the northwest. As the sun sets, the stars will start to pop out. Now, finding our M planets is going to be a tough assignment. You will need a clear view of the northwestern horizon, and you'll have to time it perfectly. Look too early, and it'll still be too bright outside. Look too late, and they will have set. Just above the horizon, and I mean just above the horizon, you may see two stars appear very close together. The brighter of the two is the elusive planet Mercury, while the dimmer one is the red planet Mars. Let's look at this from space to see how two planets that are very far away from each other look all lined up. Here we are, high above the solar system, looking down on the inner planets. There's Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. No nachos, unfortunately. No, Neptune is billions of miles out of the picture. The planets revolve around the sun in the same direction, but they don't go the same speed. The closer you are to the sun, the faster you go. So, while it takes Earth 365 days to circle the sun, it only takes Mercury 88 days. And Mars, who's moving a lot slower, takes 687 days. Now, as we approach mid-June 2019, we will see the alignment of Mercury and Mars. Mercury is in between us and the sun and only about 90 million miles away. Only 90 million miles, he says, because Mars is on the opposite side of the sun and is a whopping 232 million miles away. This is why tiny Mercury seems so much brighter than larger Mars. It's a lot closer to us. So these M planets only appear close together from Earth. Let's head back home to see the peak of the conjunction. Okay, we're back on Earth on June 15th, seeing Mercury at 90 million miles away and Mars at 232 million miles away. What makes planets interesting to observe is how they move from night to night. Let's move time forward one night at a time. Here's June 16th, June 17th, and June 18th. Mercury seems to snuggle up next to Mars, and here is the zoomed in view. They'll only be about a quarter of a degree apart, so you may be able to see both planets through a telescope at the same time. Of course, your view won't be nearly as good as these. This is the view of Mercury from the Messenger spacecraft, which orbited there from 2011 to 2015. And here is the global map of Mars, taken by the many orbiting satellites we sent up there. The M planets are truly marvelous. So, there you have it. How to look for Mercury and Mars in the night sky this weekend. Mercury is always tough to find since it doesn't stray far from the sun. And this might be the last chance to see Mars before it heads behind the sun. And if you never learn the order of the planets, shame on your teachers, repeat the saying daily, my very educated mother just served us nachos. We have to do a show on Neptune. Yeah, just so we can get some nachos. Exactly. The universe is full of planets and nachos, and it's all there when you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.